Hello everyone, I'm E.T. Zhao. Welcome to my COMP5709 capstone presentation. I'm going to talk about my machine intelligent financial trading project, which is a forest trend rate prediction model. In my research, it has a view like the noise, ResNet, CNN, and LegBN based model. Now we can see the progress of the whole presentation. First, I'm going to introduce the overall structure of the proposed model. Then it has the three main improvement methods which are used in this project. The following part is the analyzed and results. Finally, it has a conclusion. Now let's see the overall structure. In the research, all the data are from the five million data site of USDJP by currency pair, which is one of the eight major first currency pairs in 2020 and the model is proposed to predict the change rate of forex price over the next film time intervals which is fifth bars later the data of every 30 bars will store into a 30 multiply 30 matrix including technical indicators and open high low close price which is the ohlc price in this case, it will use 30 bars data to predict the trend rate between 35th bar and 30th bar. Meanwhile, 90 momentum indicators and 7 volume indicators, as shown in the slides, are used with open, high, low, close price to form the matrix. As for the structure for, of the whole model, first, all the OHLC price will be denoted through the wavelet method. Then calculate the technical indicators according to the denotes value. And the front matrix will be put into ResNet CNN for training and future extraction. After that, the extract image filter will be put into LED GPM together with technical indicators for training to get the final results. Okay, let's see the main method part. The first one is the view lighting noise. Relay denoising is an effective method to separate signal from the noise in many practical applications, and now it is used in the financial trading area. The principle is after the signal is transformed by Violet, the Violet coefficient generated by the signal contains important information of them. After the signal is decomposed by Violet, the Violet coefficient of the signal are larger, the Violet coefficient of the noise are smaller and the view light coefficient of the noise are much smaller than the view light coefficient of the signal. One of the advantages is that it can preserve larger signal view light coefficient and eliminate the smaller view light coefficient, which is noise. The second advantage is that it makes the future of the price trend image more significant, which is helpful for extraction of the following future. Let's see the image contracts before and after denoising. The first image is the original technical indicators image. The second one is the denoise technical indicators image. And the third one is the denoise and normalized technical indicator image. The second image uh, can show that the future is much better than the first one. And um, it is not hard to find that all the data in the third image are in the same in the same range and the intersection of the key future is more obvious, which are helpful for the CNN to extract the future. Now, it is the ResNet CNN part. It has a 50 layer of deep ResNet whose function is to extract the future in the image. The reason why I choose this CNN architecture is that the traditional convolution network or the all connected network will have some problems, such as information loss when the filters are transmitted. At the same time, it will cause the gradient to disappear or the gradient to explode, which makes the deep network unable to train. ResNet solved this problem to a certain extent through so bypassing the input information directly to the output to, to, prote uh, to protect the integrity of the information. The whole network only needs to learn the difference between the input and the output, simplify the learning objectives and difficulty. One of the advantages is that the problem of the gradient management and gradient explosion of different network will be solved. 
The second advantage is that it will solve the network degeneration problem and that the occurrence begin to saturate or even decline with, some, with the increase of network dips. Now, let's see the structure of the ResNet. Uh, I will introduce the residual block. In the setting and structure of the residual block are as shown in the picture, where C is a channel number of the output, K is the kernel size, P is the piping set, S is the street, and the total number of layer is four. The input dimension is implants multiply m multiply m, and the uh, and the output dimension is four times plants multiply m divided i multiply n divided i. Now let's see the whole structure of the ResNet. The setting and structure of the whole network are as shown in the image. Similarly, C is the channel number of the output. K is the kernel size. P is the piping size, S is the street. Meanwhile, implants and appliance are described in the structure of the residual block. As you can see, the ResNet has 50 layers, which include 16 residual blocks in total. The dimension of the input image is uh, 1 multiplied 30, 1 plus 30. And the output will be 1024 filters extracted from the networks. And the last improvement method is the light GPM. It will be processed the technical indicators and the image filter extracted from the ResNet. Light gradient boosting machine, which is the light GPM, is a boosting framework in the simple learning, which uses this decision tree as a base classifier of learning algorithm. It can stack each base classifier layer by layer and upgrade the weak classifier to a strong one. One of the advantage of it is that uh, it can use a nearly loseless method to reduce the number of filter and bind materially exclusive filter together to form a new filter. The second advantage is that it can sort filters, which means it will increase the importance of the effective filters and reduce the influence of the invalid filters. So in this step, the final uh, the final prediction result will be will be obtained obtained by direct data filters and the image filter, which make the whole model more robust. Now let's see the analyze and the results. There are three evaluation metrics are used in this paper. There are MAE, RMSC, MSC respectively. MAE is mean absolute error. It is average of absolute errors and it can better reflect the actual situation of the predicted value error. RMSC is a root mean square error. It is a measure of the deviation between the observed value and the real value. It is often used as a standard for prediction results of machine learning model. MSC mean square error. It is a square of the difference between the real value and the predicted value. And then the sum is averaged. The currency is for predicting the up or down in the five bar period. The best RMC in this experiment is about 0 0.56 uh, multiplied the negative third power of 10. The best MAE is about 0 0.38 multiplied the negative third power of 10. The best MSC is about 0 0.32 multiplied the negative sixth power of 10. The recurrency is about 78%. Uh, in order to verify the eff effectiveness of wavelength noising, ResNet, and LED GPM in predicting the change rate of the Forex price, I designed several experimental models. The first one is the TC model, the traditional CN model. In this model, the input image of Forex technical indicators will not undergo wavelength noising, and it will be put into traditional structure of CN for training. And the final training results will be obtained without LED GBM. The second one is a DTC model, traditional CN model with real light noising. In this model, the input image of forest technical indicators will undergo the real light noising, and it will be put into a traditional structure of CN for training. And the final training results will be obtained without LED GBM. The third one is a TCL model. The traditional CN model with LED GBM. 
In this model, the input image of forest technical indicators will not undergo real lighting noising and it will be put into traditional structure of CN for training. And the final training result will be obtained with LGBM. The first one is a DTCL model, traditional CN model with real light denoising and LGBM. In this model, the input image of forest technical indicators will undergo real light denoising and it will be put into the traditional structure of CN for training. And the final training uh, results will be obtained with LGBM. Let's see the RN based model. The RN model, ResNet CN model. In this model, the input image of forex technical indicators will not undergo real light denoising, and it will be in, put into ResNet for training. And the final training results will be obtained without LED GBM. The sixth one is the DR, DRN model, the ResNet CN model with valent denoising. In this model, the input image of the four technical indicators will undergo real light denoising and it will be put into the ResNet for training. And the final training results will be obtained without LED GBM. The seventh one is the RNL model the ResNet CN model with LED GBM. In this model, the input image of Forex technical indicator will not undergo real light denoising and it will be put into the ResNet for training. And the final training results will be obtained with LED GBM. The DRNL model is the last one and the proposed model. ResNet CN model with real light denoising and LED GBM in this model the input imagery image of the Fox uh, technical indicator will undergo real light denoising and it will be put into ResNet for training and the final training results will be uh, obtained with LGBM. Let's see the comparison of the experimental results. It can be found when using the traditional scene architecture, DTC performed best with LOIS, MAE, MSC, and RMSE. The real light denoising method and the LGBM method can help the CN model to improve the performance when predicting the forex trend rate. The real light denoising model and the LGBM method can be, com can be compatible well to improve the performance. The DRNL model, which is a proposed model, has a significant improvement compared with all the other models. As for the comparison of the real value and the predicted value, it is the most exciting part to see, to see the difference between the real world results and the predicted results. Meanwhile, the smaller difference they have, the better the return on investment we can get. Now, you can see the comparison in a, a fluctuation period. In fact, it will be more difficult to, to predict a current uh, to predict accurately in a fluctuating time period. But in our result, most of the predicted results are basically co consistent with the actual results, and only a small part of the results have obvious difference. Now, the results are in the range of 107.5 to 108. Next, I will show you the uh, comparison in a more precise dimension. This is an example of the 28th April 2020. As you can see in the 9th part, 9.30 p.m., the difference between the real value and the predicted value is visible in a really, really small dimension. It is in a range of uh, 0.098 to 0.06. We can also get a similar results in the 9.35 p.m. and the 9.40. In the 9.30 in the next 35 p.m., it is in a range of 0 0.06679 uh, to the 0 0.068, and in the and in the uh, 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 in the next 30 p.m., the range is about 0 0.07 to the 0 0.07425. The the difference between the Real, real value and predicted value are really small. Now we are going to talk about the last part, the conclusion part. And we're going to talk about the future work and conclusion. As for the project su summary, 
in, uh, in this project, a uh, Latin North ResNet LED GPI model is proposed to predict the change rate of the next scale bar in USD JPY film mini data site. And as for the significance of the project, according to the results, the proposed model has a great a practical significance, which means it will be able to help to make financial decision and investment. At last, for the future work, in the future research, I will conduct more experiments and comparisons on the time series model, such as attention based RN or the LSTM, and conduct researchers, research, researchers on multiple time intervals of multiple frequency pairs. Thank you for your patience, and thank you, and thank you for Dr. Matalubu Kushi. I really, I really appreciate your guidance. That's all. Thank you.